Hello everyone and welcome back to another match here on WWE 2K22 and this one Jackie Numazawa will be defending his SWE Hardcore Championship against Rhino in a backstage brawl. Uh, now this one it comes because we had this match set up at our previous pay-per-view and the game really conned Rhino. It's conned Rhino again hasn't it? Really? You know what, we're, we're, come on, come on, come on. Let's try that again, because this is taking the mic now. Is this match just, like, completely... Is he going to do it again? Okay, Rhino fights back this time. What is wrong with backstage brawls? They just seem to be, like, a guaranteed victory. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do best two out of three falls on this now, then. So it's 1-0 to Jackie Numazawa. He needs one more win here, Numazawa, to, uh, to win the match and keep his championship. Whereas Rhino needs two in a row. But yeah, I'm surprised he just... Yeah, he just took it out straight with one move. The loading screen was longer than the match then. Which is the same, because I like the look of this backstage area, but there's really a very limited amount of things you can do with it. Number one, I have set this match type so it cannot finish by knockout. Obviously, that's not working. It's supposed to only finish by pinfall or submission, but yeah, that's obviously not working at all. Yeah, this is just odd. Um, I tried something. It obviously just doesn't work, does it? Which is a shame. I really want to use some more of this backstage area, but... Rhino, nice big clothesline taking down Jackie Numazawa. And instead of using the chair that was there, he's going to go and grab another one because that makes a lot more sense. Jackie Numazawa now have Rhino up and drops him down. Michinoko driver. And we are going to get a pinfall for the one, two... Oh, it's only a two count. That's what I want. I want this to be pinfalls and submissions in this backstage area. But for some reason, the game still insists on having knockouts. Numazawa now with a steel chair right across the gut. And then one across the head as well. Rhino now gets one across the back. But he's back up. The war machine. However, Numazawa dropping Rhino down with the air raid crash. Now in with the pin. And that might be enough to retain the hardcore chat. It's not. Okay. The match continues on. And the match is actually now working. Well, for now, anyway. We've not had a knockout victory. Doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Boot in the face there by Rhino. So we are getting closer now to the interview area. As Rhino striking. Oh, look at Rhino. Sheer brutality. Taking Numazawa up into that fallaway slam position. Crashing spine first into the concrete. There is the pin for the one, two. Only a two count. Remember, we have made this best two out of three falls now because Numazawa did win this match by, well, with, with one maneuver. So we decided to go best two out of three just to make it a bit more interesting. Can Rhino hit a gore on the... Because he has to go into the corner, doesn't he, normally? In the ring, anyway. He backs away into the corner. Now locking in the submission on Numazawa. I remember this is for the Hardcore Championship. However, moving forward, I don't think these match types will be for the Hardcore Championship. Because yeah, it just doesn't work. I have reported this, by the way, to 2K as a ticket. And nothing's happened. Essentially, I reported it and they said, please send me a photograph. I was like, well, I can't send you a photograph of... The issue does not give a photograph. Literally, I've set up a match for pinfall and submissions only. Turned off knockouts, yet knockouts still happen. And yeah, they're like, no, no, you need to send us a photograph. And then because I couldn't send them a photograph, they just closed it off. Because the 2K ticketing system is awful. It really is bad, but hey-ho. Hey, freaking ho. We're now in the... You're in the interview area. Uh, there are some interesting bits and bobs around there. Some tables, some chairs, some more weapons. As Numazawa has himself another chair now. And then now... Could you throw somebody through a table from here? Or would that be... Would that not be close enough? I'm not sure, to be honest. Well, we might be able to find out pretty soon. Oh, into the DDT. Remember, one more pin for Numazawa would do this. He already has the one victory by knockout. 
Only a two count on this one. This is a lot better. I wish this was the first one. If the first pinfall had gone like this, this would have been great. Oh. Rhino fighting away now with the elbows and the back of their head. Oh, I'll tell you what would be amazing is if um, Rhino just hit a gore and they both flew off through the table. That would be great. But obviously the game is nowhere near that smart, is it? So that won't happen. Rhino is busted open. Does grab a hold of the steel chair, but really poorly just allows... Numazawa to come up behind him does manage to reverse the potential. Oh, that noise is my cat's having a drink. The potential air raid slam or Michinoko driver, whichever one it was he was going to go for. Rhino now up looking for the belly to belly. Not going to be the case. Lovely super kick by Numazawa, but still. Rhino doesn't go down. There's the chair between the eyes. Another one, obviously, into the chest. And another one as well. Numazawa in full control of this. Now taking Rhino up on the shoulder and in with that takedown once again. One. Numazawa the pin. This could be enough. It's still not enough. Wow. Wow. This match is really going the distance now, isn't it? Numazawa sending Rhino clattering to the ground once again. Well, we've got a nice little vending machine there. I'm assuming there's something you can do with that, but we probably won't get a chance to see it in this match. Never know. Rhino slides out the back of Numazawa once again. Rhino's not gone for a gore at all in this one, which makes me think the gore is only available inside the ring on this game. Rhino now sending Numazawa crash into the ground once again. Rhino went for the boot, Numazawa ducked it. Now tripping Rhino. How do we go from literally the quickest match ever to a match which is a lot slower? How how does it even work? Just shows there's no consistency in this, which is good though, I suppose. You don't want the same things over and over again, do you, I suppose? As Rhino has a hockey stick looking to rock it right across their head of Numazawa, who caught it and used it against Rhino. Oh! Again, oh, right between the eyes. Numazawa now taking Rhino up onto the shoulder and drops him again. And the referee calls it by knockout once again. But there it is, two victories for Numazawa. We will call that all. But we do know this match type still does not work. Um, no matter the fact that I've turned off knockouts... The game still decides that knockout is the only way it wants to go at this point in time. But either way, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like and subscribe, all the other good stuff. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.